Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Commanding General, Major General William H. Swan, welcome to the Marine Aircraft Group 31 Change of Command Ceremony, where Colonel Dustin Byron will relinquish command to Colonel Michael Cassidy. Today's parade is being executed by the officers and Marines of Marine Aircraft Group 31. Please rise for the invocation given by Commander Christopher West, MAC-31 Chaplain, United States Navy. Good afternoon. I invite, you, I invite you to take a moment, bow your heads, and pray with me. Eternal Father, we come before you today in humble thanks for our great country and the freedoms we have enjoyed as Americans. As we celebrate the passing of the mantle from one commanding officer to the next, we acknowledge that all leadership is ordained by you and welcome your presence as an unseen witness to today's proceedings. In bidding farewell to Colonel Dustin Warren Byram, we are thankful for a strong leadership during a very challenging time for the group, and we pray for your guidance and wisdom to follow him to his next command in our nation's capital, as well as tremendous amounts of patience that he will need to navigate the traffic there. <laughs> we pray for safe travels for him, his wife Christine, and their children Thomas, Lucy, and Henry as they relocate to their new home, as well as strength within the family as they adjust to their new surroundings, new schools, and cultures. We also pray for Colonel Michael Spam Cassidy and for blessings upon his leadership. We pray for wisdom in his daily decisions, understanding in his relationship with his Marines and sailors, and strength in the face of any adversity he may encounter during his command of MAC-31. We pray a very special prayer for his wife, Maya, and pray that they feel a sense of welcome during their transition to life in the Low Country. We also ask for guidance and strength for our nation's leadership as they navigate the turbulent waters of this moment in history. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Present day reviews in the Marine Corps have their basis of both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of the past. The adjutant formed the line of battle, and in those early days, that line consisted of two or three ranks, much like in the review you'll see today. Thank you. 
Attack squad 312, all present are accounted for. Marine, fighter attack squadron 533, all present are accounted for. Marine fighter attack training squadron 501, all present or accounted for. Marine aviation logistics squadron 31, all present or accounted for. Come on! 
Ladies and gentlemen, now taking his position in the reviewing area is the Commanding General, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, Major General William H. Swan. Please rise for honors to Major General Swan. Present! Taking his position in the reviewing area is the commanding officer from Marine Aircraft Group 31, Colonel Dustin Byram. Major, deliver the colors to the commanding officer. We now come to the ceremony's most solemn moment, the actual passing of command. Cool. The battle colors of a Marine Corps unit symbolize the authority and accountability of command. Cool. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Colonel Byram, and by accepting the colors, Colonel Cassidy accepts command and confirms his total commitment to the Marines and sailors that he will command. Sergeant Major George Vega is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. Colonel Dustin J. Byram, effective 1700, 28 June 2024. You will stay detached from your duties as Commanding Officer, Marine Aircraft Group 31, and report to the Commanding General, Aviation Department, Headquarters Marine Corps, Washington, D.C. Signed, Eric M. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel Michael R. Cassidy. Effective 1700, 28 June 2024. You are directed to assume your duties as Commanding Officer, Marine Aircraft Group 31. Signed, Eric M. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. <laughs> position in the reviewing area is the reviewing officer for today's ceremony, Major General Swan.
Officer to be decorated, and all colors. Center, march. Carry colors. Ready, cut. Detail, forward, march. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Please be seated. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Colonel Dustin J. Byron, United States Marine Corps, for service as set forth in the following. For an exceptionally meritorious conduct in his performance of outstanding service as Commanding Officer, Marine Aircraft Group 31, from May 2022 to June 2024. During this period, Colonel Byram's superior leadership, knowledge, and mission focus served as a foundation to his successful command tour. Under his direction, the squadrons of Marine Aircraft Group 31 provided support to all areas of the globe, spanning from support to the United States Indo-Pacific Command Unit Deployment Program to reinforcing multinational cooperation in the Baltic Sea and strengthening North Atlantic Treaty Organization relationships with Nordic allies. Ever mindful to the drastic changes faced by the tactical air community, he adeptly steered the group's focus to emerging technologies in the tactical air transfer plan and directed the support of multiple command post exercises and various naval training evolutions. While sustaining exceptional F-35 Bravo Lightning performance metrics, he remained engaged with the ongoing maintenance of the legacy F-18 Hornet platform. As a result of his skillful management, the F-18 Hornet squadrons routinely achieved and sustained high mission-capable status in aircraft readiness. 
In total, his group attained the highest squadron training readiness levels and flew more than 21,900 hours across the four F-18 Hornet squadrons and two F-35 Bravo Lightning squadrons. By his bold leadership, wise judgment, and complete dedication to duty, Colonel Byron reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps in the United States Naval Service. For the President, Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General of 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, Major General Swan. Commander Troops, please put the Marines at rest. Okay, they're already at rest. Shake it out, Marines. I missed that he said. Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, super excited to be here today in, in the Low Country uh, and at the MAG 31 Change of Command. Special welcome to General Hailston. Sir, great to see you. General Byron and all the DVs and family and friends that made the trip. I know these two gentlemen, Warren and Spam, really appreciate you making the trip out here and it says a lot to these two uh, for you being here. Do you honor us with your presence, so, so really thank you. A couple other thank yous for Star Major Vega and your team, the Paris Island Band, and all the Marines standing in front of you today that represent the nearly 2,000 Marines and Sailors in MAG 31. We really not only thank them for everything they did to put this ceremony on today, but for what they do for our nation and our Corps on a daily basis. Please join me in a round of applause for everyone in front of you. You know, the, uh, the narrator and the chaplain talked about the change of command and the, and the passing of the colors. That flag represents the history and legacy of this unit dating all the way back to World War II. And when the commander takes that flag, I see three priorities. One, to be ready to execute the mission. Two, to take care of his Marine sailors and their families. And then three, build on that legacy here in MAG 31. All the old scouts in the crowd, I see one of them right there. They wondered, how did Warren do? I'm here to tell you, Warren crushed it. He did, he did an amazing job. Through some hard times, through some hard times. But your leadership uh, can't go unnoticed and I really appreciate everything you did for this air group. It doesn't go without being said that behind every great Marine leader is a great Marine family. Christine, you and your three kids, Henry, Lucy, and Thomas, you can't do it without you. And I thank you for what you support you provided to Warren, but also for all the families and their spouses here in MAC 31. Really appreciate it, uh, and thank you. Well done. I wish you all the best as you head back up north. And as the chaplain said, good luck with the traffic. <laughs> Spam and Maya, welcome back. How, how fitting to have a Harrier guy welcome home to Buford, South Carolina. You know, I got to work with you in the hallways, ma'am. I can't think of a better officer, better leader, better family team to take MAG-31 to the next level. I wish you all the best and look forward to providing any support that I can uh, as we continue this journey. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause and the former commander of Marine Aircraft Group 31, my friend, Warren Byron. General Swan, thanks, sir, for the kind words. Thanks for your mentorship over the past 10 years, and always uh, thanks for your support to the Marines and families here at MAC-31. I appreciate everything. General Hailston, Dad, thanks so much for coming out to, uh, to be with us today. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, uh, Marines, sailors, and, uh, and of course, like everybody here that, that's here today, I, I appreciate you guys so much for being here and, uh, and making the time to come to our change of command. I'm a firm believer that, uh, that the length of your remarks should be equal to one over the heat index, so I'm gonna keep it short. So if I'm not able to individually recognize you today, well, buy a cold beer at the club, we'll call it good, okay? <laughs> 
First of all, though, I do want to want to thank some people. Like uh, the CG said, hey, the Paris Island Band. For the last two years, they've been at every change command. They've been at every uh, Marine Corps ball. They've been at every one of our retirements. They sound great. We love seeing these guys at the air station. I really appreciate them being here. They're they're fantastic. Uh, to uh, to my wife, Christine. Uh, the CG said, I, I couldn't have done it without you. So I appreciate uh, all your advice and support when I was around. Like and uh, and then your patience and understanding when I wasn't able to be there. And, uh, and your love over the past quarter century. Lucky for me, I'm the only one who keeps looking older, so I, I love you guys. thank you. <laughs> hey, to my kids, thanks for being awesome. It's been, I'm proud to watch what you guys have done here in the last few years in, in, uh, in Beaufort, and I can't wait to see uh, what you guys are doing uh, in Virginia. Hey, to, uh, to Colonel Snotty Bordenham and your whole team at, uh, at Marine Corps Air Station Beaufort. Hey, uh, I mean, MCCS, everybody, you guys are fantastic. Uh, I can't tell you every day how happy I am to be part of this air station, to be on this air station, to be on the premier fighter base in the, uh, in the Marine Corps. And uh, I tell you, wh what makes it the best is all the work that you guys do to make things better for our Marines, our sailors, and their families. You do that tirelessly every day, day in, day out. And uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you have done personally, as well as every member of your staff. You guys are fantastic. All right, to, uh, to my Sergeant Major. Where'd he go? George. George Vega. So, uh, hey, I think my best decision on uh, in command was, uh, was signing your reenlistment papers on my second week uh, when I was here. I was like, ah, I'm not sure I don't know this guy yet. But, uh, but hey, thank you for your advice and mentorship, your friendship. Uh, thanks for helping me carry my flag here all over the world. And, uh, and thank you for, uh, for most of all, for your 100% dedication to the Marines and Sailors of MAG-31. I've learned so much from your leadership. Thanks, George. Hey, to my XOs. Uh, K-Fed, uh, shit, sorry, Monk, <laughs> K-Fed, Monk, kids, you're must. Uh, who's, and especially Spool, hey, thanks so much for running the mag when I was out gallivanting around the world with the, uh, with the Sergeant Major, sure my responsibilities. Uh, thank you for all your leadership, not just to the staff, but to every Marine and sailor here at, uh, at MAG-31. And uh, thanks for never being afraid to close the door when I was going off high and right and get me back to a wings of latitude. I appreciate you guys so much, man. I could have done it without, without you guys. Hey, to the staff here at MAG-31. Uh, when I came here, I told you my number one priority was supporting the squadrons, and you guys took that, ran with it, and produced in spades. I can't, I've never worked with a more high-performing staff, with a better group of people, and everything that the MAG has done over these past two years has been enabled by you guys. You have been a fantastic, uh, staff i mean it's a model and, and i've been honored to be a part of it all right to the co's hey everyone you guys took the guide on or took your uh, the colors on day one and you spread it all the way through your command tour it's been such a pleasure to watch you guys build your teams train your marines and go out and accomplish that mission that you had no matter what it was and it was uh it was i learned a lot from ever watching every one of you guys and i thank you for your leadership over these past two years and you know beyond and, and going forward as well all right. Hey, the Marines and sailors that you see out here, along with nearly 1,800 others that they uh, that they represent, the past four years have, uh, or the past two years, have done four uh, Western Pacific unit deployments. They done two deployments to uh, to the high north to support our NATO allies. They done three WTIs, as well as countless other other uh, deployments for training in the United States and uh, and elsewhere. They done cast frags. They done everything that we asked of them, and they've done that because of the tireless work, day, night, and weekends by these Marines behind us to put up, up aircraft in, uh, into, the, uh, into the air, to have trained Marines, a qualified air crew, so they could take the fight to our enemies anywhere in the world. Hey, Marines of MAG-31, I've been honored to be part of your team. Super Fidelis. <laughs> Yo, you can say that. Hey, Spam. Hey, Spam Amaya, I'm so, so happy to, uh, to be passing this off to you. Congratulations. Like, welcome to the MAG-31 family. We're so happy to have you guys here. And uh, I can't think of a better person to be taking over MAG-31. I can't wait to see what you do over the next two years. It's going to be awesome. All right, with that, the actual commanding officer of Marine Aircraft 331, Colonel Stan Cash. I was so excited to be up here today that I jumped the gun a little bit there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, General Swan, hey, thank you very much for being out here, sir, and participating in today's ceremony. I look forward to working with you again, uh, and I'm sure both of us can agree that we'd much rather be here right now than rolling up at the Pentagon. And, uh, General Hailston, it's been a long time. I think I was probably uh, not a full functional adult when I last saw you. It's great to see you here today, sir, and, uh, and welcome. And General Byram, welcome as well. 
to the Marines and the band, hey, thank you. You all look fantastic today. I know you put a lot of hard work into what you did, uh, but the bottom line is these ceremonies aren't worth, not, not worth it, but aren't what they would be if you didn't put in that hard work. So thank you very much. And I promise I'll keep this short because I follow Warren's uh, guidance on when it's hot out. We get this done quick. I got a couple uh, groups of individuals I'd like to thank. First, family and friends that have traveled from far and wide to come here, some as far as Hawaii to be with me today. Hey, bottom line is you have been the support for me ever since I was young. And I have people here that I've known all my life, that I've known since elementary school, that have met along the way. So thank you very much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Also, my dad, Barry Cassidy, Marine F-4, F-18 pilot. I've got Colleen Hushin, my mother-in-law, who's a Navy, retired Navy nurse. They've also been with me, some longer than others, but they've been with me throughout the entirety of my Marine Corps career, supported me along the way, and bottom line, they've been to the majority of these type of ceremonies for me. And these would not be the same if it wasn't for you. I'm so glad you're here today. To the Marines that I've worked with before, whether or not you were a mentor and led me to the point where I am now, whether or not you're one of the people that were my peers, you got me through the hard times and gave me the advice I needed, or whether or not you were one of the people who worked for me and you did all the hard work that got me here, hey, thank you. You are the reason I've stayed in the Marine Corps, one of the primary reasons. It's all about the people, and you are the reason why I wake up every morning and come to work, is because I get to work with you. That was one of the primary decisions that kept me going. Finally, to my wife, Maya, who's the other reason I'm still in the Marine Corps, because she continues to loan me out day by day to the Marine Corps, and I promise her I'll pay off the loan one day. I've said this about 20 times now, but I'm not sure that I uh, have done it yet. One day, I promise, I promise. She continues to sacrifice to allow me to do what it is that I love to do. So through all the deployments, through all the continued things we do, she makes those sacrifices. And you support me throughout this career that I've done. I love you very much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so glad you're here with me today. So love you. All right, Warren, Christine, you've been such gracious hosts since we've been here. Ever since you found out that I was coming to MAG 31, you reached out to me. And you are leaving me an honestly world-class organization. So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is you've welcomed me in and you have given me everything I've needed to be successful here. You've jumped through hoops to make sure that's the case. That, that, that is an absolute testament to Warren's character. He's an absolute, uh, or absolute rock star, world-class individual, uh, and I appreciate that. Good luck, brother. Up to the Pentagon. All right, finally, I promise to make this short, so I will make it short. Marines and Sailors of MAG-31, I am absolutely honored and privileged to be standing before you as your commander today, and I can think of no place I'd rather be than right here and right now to tackle the challenges of the future. And with that, I am growing thirsty, and I'll take Warren up on his, his offer. I think it's time to go to the club. Semper Fi, and God bless. Aircraft Group 31 would like to thank Ms. Christine Byram for her support to the Marines, Sailors, and Civilians of Marine Aircraft Group 31, while extending a warm welcome to Ms. Maya Cassidy and the Cassidy family. in the reviewing area is the commanding officer, Marine Aircraft Marine 31, Colonel Michael Cassidy. Marshal Commander Review. Hi, sir.